Hi, today I want to talk about why we feel upset. Um, everyone, myself included, feels upset probably several times a day. I know I do. And so uh, it got me thinking as to how come that this happens. And it really has to do with the way our brain is wired. And, and our brain is wired for a very different world than uh, we currently live in today. Uh, we're wired for a world where we live in small packs and we have to hunt and gather our food. And if we don't get cooperation from others in our small group, our chances of survival are really low. So we developed the structure in our, in our limbic system called the amygdala, which sends us a message of warning anytime that our brain detects some kind of a problem that can cause us to be ostracized by others. And so this amygdala lights up um, and then we all, all of a sudden our brain has to defend itself for the moment and has to somehow figure out how to get back into the fold. And it is often counterproductive in today's society. So when you see people overreact, start yelling or start fighting, um, that's a sign that their amygdala is overly lit up, overly stimulated, uh, which is a problem. So one thing that never helps when, that, when you see that is by telling someone, even if you're telling them politely, please calm down. That never helps. I've never seen anyone react to, to that like, oh, I never realized. Thank you very much. Um, in fact, it just gets us more upset. So we can't tell someone to calm down, but we can certainly practice calming down ourselves. And for that, uh, I recommend using an acronym I call WAIT, W-A-I-T. The W in WAIT is water. So the first thing we do is we can take a sip of water. When we do that, our body actually relaxes because um, when we hydrate ourselves, um, our body feels safe. Like water is one of the first things we need to live. And so when our body gets it, it's like, ah, okay. Um, the next thing is air. Breathe. Breathe when you're upset and maybe even take a walk out if you can and get some fresh air. Because when our body feels oxygen, it also feels safe. And it, it um, reduces the effect of the amygdala alarm uh, ringing in our head. So that has a calming effect. And the next one is time. And that means that you don't type an answer, you don't yell at someone, you don't do anything for a certain amount of time. For some people it could be five minutes, for many it's about half an hour, and for some it could be as long as a day. To really calm down and bring our neurotransmitters into balance so that our body is not really in this fight mode, but rather sort of in a more relaxed mode. That's when those thumbs should start working again in terms of sending someone a message, an email, etc. And the other thing you can do with the time is you can journal. Uh, it's really, really helpful to write down, at least I find it, to write down my thoughts, my frustrations, and get them out on pen in longhand. Um, and if I do that, then it sort of, I feel like it's a little bit of a heat sink. It takes away that frustration because I have it on my page, I can always read it. I actually never do because then I don't really care about the argument. And it really helps me to do that. So I hope these have been helpful to you. Please write to me, let me know if you have other practices um, that you do that help you to calm down. Um, and if you've ever seen people who are overreacting and what you've seen uh, work and what you've seen not work in those situations. Send me a message on LinkedIn or get in touch with me through my website, conflictyes.com. Thank you, have a great day.